And I am live! Okay, so, a couple of updates on a few projects before we go and fix the end farm. I've started moving around my storage a bit, so started to be a little bit of a mess, mainly because these two chests and this chest was getting full. So if we come up a level, well, along with some of the chests in here, I've got some of those items split up. So we've got a project chest here for a gold farm. Uh, some of the dirt items from the floor below, grass items, string, and rotten flesh, as well as leather, marker blocks from the red terracotta, wheat, gunpowder, emeralds, saplings, and potatoes, all things that I've been having a lot of. Because if you look down here, my dirt and grass are basically full. So, uh, we also have purper and a couple of extra barrels sticking here. This is my I need to dump my survival inventory chest. So, that kind of works there. If we go down to the iron farm, I've yet to empty this since we built it. But we've got this whole side full up now. And we've been filling this chest this morning. So, this is working pretty well. I've been kind of using the stone farm. I've had to use it a couple of times uh, and fill up these two chests. We're going to be working on this today too, trying to make sure it stays running while we're working. Good thing that it's nice and close to the iron farm. For right now, we need to go home and we're going to make some anvils. Take over to the end farm. Should be enough. A bit of mob entertainment while I'm on my break at work. Sweet. Warp end farm. Okay, I think they go over here, if I'm not mistaken. Hello, non-dino. Welcome to the stream. So, that should work. Kind of weird that we don't have anything there, but that works. Okay, so we've got the anvil set up. Let's go over to this iron. We're going to stick the rest of the anvils there. We can stick this iron here. Okay, now what was the thing we were going to do after that? Oh, right, I need to make a few Silk Touch Unbreaking 3 picks. Nice UK flag. I know, uh, somebody made it for me. Where are my Silk Touch books? This way. So that's spare stuff, that's emeralds, that's mending, fortune. Breaking 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, we're going to do that. 1, 2, 3, 4. We're making four Silk Touch picks. Unbreaking three. Touch, silk touch, silk touch, silk touch, and the rest of these should be unbreaking three. Uh, you're becoming one of us. Defect from your country and come live with us. Um, I could if I could afford the plane ticket and a place to live. Unbreaking three and silk touch. However, I'm not sure how worth it that is right now. Em uh, emeralds. Yes, we're going to craft diamond pickaxes out of emeralds. Six. One, two, three, four, and Anvil. Get on a little sailboat and we'll set you up in our basement. Totally, because that's totally how it works. Not gonna die along the way. Hopefully we have enough levels. It doesn't look like we will. We can set up three. Okay, that works. I will set the rest of these in this one. Okay, so now we're gonna take Ma 53. Where is he? We're going to move them over here. You can go there. Uh, just like Minecraft, two little oars and a cow in the back. Exactly. Was that a double chest of mending? It was, in fact. And Ma 51, please. That is the wrong door. This is the right door. I even marked it with an iron block. We're going to walk down the stairs and... And a pearl. Oh, I fell first. Hang it. Back to work. See you later. And now, I open the door. And you can have these. Oh, 53. And my question is, did I actually set this up? I did not. So we're going to have to quit. Open MultiMC. Edit Instance. Open Downloads. I still have yet to open the Edit Instance page. And I have a mod I need to add. These two. Come on, you can open. It's not that hard. 
<clears throat> multi MC tends to be a little bit low loading its instances. A little bit annoying. While it's doing that, let's go figure something out to do here. Ender Pearl. That was a little bit of an undershot. There we go. Okay. Diamonds can go in this chest. Sticks can go in this one. Got a couple of spare steak. That's the other thing we're going to have to keep on top of. I'm running very low on food. So we're going to have to make sure we breed those cows downstairs. So let's go up and grab some wheat while we're waiting for multi-MC. Should be in the chests all the way up here. Perfect. I don't need that many hay bales. Those can stay. So select the ender pearls again. And into the cow pen. I think I undershot again. Nope, that's perfect. Hi guys. Seems uh, most of my adults are dead. Not a great situation to be in. Okay, we're heading back up. Got it. Why do I feel like there's a block missing there? Hmm, I'll have to check that out. Back up here. And I probably shouldn't have brought all the wheat that I did, but... Eh. Works. Do we have the edit instance page? We don't. Really glad we didn't sit there waiting on it. It just would have been wasted time. And let's see. So we've got torches. We've got ender pearls. Grab a few more of those. Please don't cuss. That's not allowed. Okay. Uh, we've got chorus flowers. We could go and harvest those. But I think for right now, I want to go and work on the first project for today, which is a wall around the edge. Oh, look at that. It opened. Okay. So we need to go to loader mods and we need to drag these into there. Perfect. And we can launch it with the mod 53 account and we can close that page since we don't need it anymore. Okay. Now that's loading up. We need stone brick pieces. Two stacks of walls, some slabs. We have any stairs? We do. And we don't have very much mossy stuff. And then these guys. Okay. And then we're going to go and grab. Should have that in my ender chest. A stone cutter and some stone. Jump over that. I'm going to switch to this. Control Alt Numpad 2. 4. I have no idea what second damage to me there. We're going to do that. And this. You're now we're in the game. Follow. Thank you for the follow. So who was that? Happy. It's not telling me who that was. Okay, I don't know who followed. But thank you. Because I'm not being told who followed. Interesting. So now I should be able to do this. And attack? Hold attack. True. No? Hold on. Attack. Attack. Alt. Click. There we go. Now I should be able to do refill. Or... Stock. We can restock. Uh, no, I don't want that here. I want it here. We can restock. True. Perfect. And then switch back to Ma 51. Close the door. Click the lever. And it should start working. There we go. We are officially making stone. Because we're going to need a ton of stone bricks for this wall. So the way I measured this out is in six. Let's actually turn that down. Uh, options, music, and sounds. Locks. Let's just turn it off. Back to Ma 51. The way I measured this out is in six block segments. So we should really only have to design two wall shapes. A diagonal six block segment. And a horizontal, uh, or a completely, like, flat six-block segment. 
So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way. So anytime we need to move going diagonal, going this way or this way, we move six blocks. So that should make it nice and easy to try and figure out what we need to do. Uh, I think first of all, we need to think how far we want it across going diagonal or horizontal and then how far that would be when going diagonal. I don't think that ender pearl actually threw. So if we go, there it is. <laughs> That's quite the distance. Okay, uh, let's go up here. Um, so if we think about how far across it's going to be here, which I think would be three, it should really only be two going diagonal, I think. So maybe we should do four going across diagonal. We're going across diagonal horizontal i think it's horizontal so if it's four or five going across horizontal then it would be two or three going across diagonal which is going to be a lot harder let's do four and then we could probably say doing three diagonal so doing that splitting here that's the first part we're designing Yes. Section one lies here. And I think keeping a consistent height across the whole thing is going to be a good idea, considering we've got one plane here and another plane there. So there should only be a few sections where we change the height. Here, everything's kind of at the same height. So let's kind of decide on like 77. I think that looks like a good height. Nice and tall above everything, and kind of works. We needed to pick up more stone over at the stone forge. Go over here. No, I'm going to break some farmland. Oh, okay. Ender chest should be here, and I should have a hoe in there. Hello, rare fire turtle. Welcome to the stream. By the way, I found my completely damaged one that I'm eventually going to break. I had shoved it in a chest somewhere. That can go there. These can go in the trash can, if it'll eventually open. Perfect. And over to the stone. We need more. That. And there's that. Perfect. And we can go back here. I think I've overshot again. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Need to eat a little bit. And then we're going to get back up on top of here. Hmm, that was a bit interesting. I make it to there. Yes, awesome. And you, please. So, stone bricks. Stone, stone bricks. Can I actually click the right buttons? That, okay. Perfect. So we're going to finish just like a solid wall of stone bricks. Then we need to figure out what it's going to look like. An endermite, I see that. It should despawn momentarily. I think they only last like five minutes. So I think in the middle we'll do smooth stone. So like that. Perfect. And then stairs with caps. So if we... Well, if we're having it every six, we should do something like this. That and that. Okay. So it'll repeat exactly like that. And we'll have to figure out some way to replicate that design going diagonally. That should be the easier way to do it, as long as I get them in the right orientation. Something along those lines. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. And then on the edges, we can do that with slabs in the middle here. Yeah, cool. So these all have lanterns on them, probably just on these two spots. And then we can do walls bringing these higher. 
So it'll kind of go diagonally back and forth. Cool. So when we come down here, we can dig out this middle section. Hi, Endermite. Looks like I am going to have to kill you. You aren't allowed to leave. Come on. It shouldn't be that hard to kill an Endermite. There we go. Okay, so if we take these. Please. Awesome. And... That? Yeah. We do walls coming down here. Hmm. Maybe smooth stone behind it. I don't know why my screen decided to reset. I think smooth stone going down the whole center of it would kind of look better. Change up the color a little bit. Okay. Really can't see it. Because it does match it. Maybe iron blocks. But that's going to match it too. We could also do some form of colored clay. So I've got some colored clay. Let's put a little bit of this back. I don't need the clock at the moment, so that can go in here. Or a few more stacks of torches. Okay. So let's check out a few different colors of clay. That's not the right chest. So we'll need you and the plants chest. So we could try orange. We have a ton of red. And we could try blue. I don't remember what the white tulip makes, if it's light gray or white. I think it's white, judging by the name. Nope, it's light gray. Okay. Thank you for uh, proving me wrong. Okay, uh, we've got blue. And we've got orange. And we've got light gray, which kind of looks awkward. But it is a color. Oh, did Mod 50 die? It did. Well, we're just going to leave him alone for now then. Roll Alt B and exit the script. Okay. And we could try yellow. Let's do this. We'll get one yellow die. Waiting for that to drop. I'm like, let's just drop it onto my taskbar or something. That and bring this over here. And teleport. Jump. Ah, oh, again, I broke the wheat. I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so let's break these again. We don't have to break all the walls again, though. Okay, so those are going to have to stay. That. And we can pull this down. Yeah, you really cannot see the color behind there. Kind of looks good, but we might want to try something other than walls. We could do stairs or slabs going down the whole thing. So like stairs here doing that. And then slabs doing something like that. Like you can certainly see more. Question is, is it worth it? We missed the slab up top, but I think that definitely looks better than the walls. We could also do stairs, kind of doing something like this. That looks better. We'd have to match the bottom piece here, though. Now the question becomes, what color do we like the best? Grab all the different colors. I'm liking orange, to be honest. We've got three of that, three of that, really don't like light gray, looks too purpley, got blue, blue looks good, can I have that back please? I'm thinking orange and blue to be honest, it's an interesting palette.
<clears throat> hmm. So yeah, I'm thinking orange and blue. Blue is a little bit hard to get, but I think you can make it with lapis. So let's build it without the colors. And then we'll go back and do the colors later. So now we need logs, which means more teleportation. Go. There's no way we're going to make it all that way. Uh, we made it most of the way. Let's just walk the rest of the distance. So I'm thinking logs separating each one. So on one side of the six block segment, there would be a pillar that is built into it architecturally with uh, stairs and slabs. Uh, clay is here. We're going to keep the blue and we're going to go check out our lapis stores. I think are here or here. We have very little lapis. How much do we have for ores? Uh, 63. And where do we have a fortune pick? I managed to lose my mending fortune pick, which is kind of frustrating. Should be in this one. Fortune 3, Unbreaking 3. Awesome. We are going to spend a minute here. I should probably do this on a floor up. Mining some lapis. Hello. So, uh, let's actually verify that you can make blue dye out of this. Awesome. So, I'm thinking we have a log on one side that's built into each side uh, with stairs and slabs. So, it comes out a little bit into the log and rounds into it allowing you to have one side that's prepared for the log and the other side that has the log. And then when you're doing a diagonal, it's going to rotate depending on if you ended up on a side that has a log or doesn't have a log. Kind of a weird way to imagine it, but I think it should work. And that's probably all the lapis we need, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I forgot how many uh, lapis pieces each lapis gives. Uh, let's do that. We're going to get that back. And we're still having lapis on the ground. Okay. So now we come down here. We throw you in the ores box. Or pick back. And you can go in here. We should really only need two stacks of blue dye. So the rest can go in there. Then we're going to come back up. And we are going to get our stone brick piece. You and you. And now we need clay, which is down here and in this chest. This one and this one. We don't have very much, but it should work. There's a crafting table. The lapis lazuli block. Here. Oh, wait, we need to make the blue dye first. Let's make one stack at a time. Oh yeah, we didn't even use that. So you can go in here and the blue die can go in the chest. Perfect. I forgot that uh, one lapis does eight terracotta. Go. Oh, I fell before I hit the ground. Perfect. And again, I broke wheat. I'm going to have to come back and fix that. Did not pick up logs. Good job. And I not. What are you going to build now? We are working on a wall. I come down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I need to go back and get some logs for the next part, though, because we're going to be transitioning into seeing how they work together. Please hit something. Thank you. So we should only need two stacks of logs. We're going to need to put some stone brick pieces back. Don't think we're gonna need that many smooth stone slabs or that many walls. Okay. And off we go. Eat some steak. Yeah, I noticed. I kind of talked to them about it in support, but just uh, like back off if you notice I'm getting a little bit frustrated. I think we should have the actual log on this side. Would make the most sense to me. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll do something like that. Okay. 
And we're going to imagine there being a log here by actually building it. Seems off center, but it looks okay. So now we build it in by doing something like this. Hello everyone, it's me, everyone's favorite disappointment. Uh, that's not really the best way to introduce yourself, but I can guarantee you're not a disappointment to everybody. What if we do this? Can I actually pick block the right thing? That doesn't look too bad. And then over here, it would just be up by two, then that. Unless we rotated the whole back and forth thing, which might actually make sense. Try that. So here we would do that. Back to here. Back to here. Yeah. What? Lost. Supposed to be here. No? Guys, I forgot my own pattern. I think I like this pattern better, though. I need to go... Can't go anywhere. Uh, here and here-ish. There. I actually like that one better. I don't like that the stuff there shows through the top, though. I think we can fix that. If we come up, we should be able to rotate one of these stairs to do that. Question is, which one? One. Technically be ready to that one. If we do this one, patch. I'm fine with it being that one. Okay, and then these need to be stone bricks. Regular stone bricks. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Be nice if I could get up here though. So then here, I kind of want these to be visible through. But that's not going to happen in this case. Maybe on the outside we could do something like that. I don't think there's too much more we can do here, but it looks good. So then we would repeat the same thing going down. And then we would have a different design for it going diagonal. So now on the outside, this is what we'd be defending with. So first of all, we should probably have some sort of split going underneath the stairs. Now I know there's a trick to only having a partial amount shown under those stairs. Isn't surgery just stabbing someone to life? In a way, I guess. I'm trying to think, what's the trick to doing that? So let's check out our walls. I don't think that's the trick. Maybe. So if we do walls coming down here, right? We've got these two channels on either side. We don't have sideways slabs. <laughs> All I heard in my head when I said that is you just going, Eliza, why? Uh, possibly. Hmm. See, this is a situation where Bosun modded sideways slabs would be so helpful. Like, the closest thing we have are wolves, but they're like middle slabs, really? See, I can shoot from there, though, which is really helpful, but that's not what I'm looking for. What if I just did something like this? Up by two, and up by two, and around, and then I did this. So that it's just like an opening there. And I get on top to see what that looks like. Let's see how that works. I doubt it's going to do anything, but we'll see. Would you look at that? I did it. Okay, so I can shoot there. That's exactly what I was looking for. Hmm, okay. 
I don't think I can shoot. Like, there's still a blind spot. Like, here. Yeah. So you can still hide right up against this wall. Try lowering this by one, then. So now it'll be here and here. With slabs on top. Yep, no blind spot anymore. Perfect. How did you make your alt just stand there and break stuff by itself? Uh, let's see. Well, at the moment, Ma51 or Ma53 is using a mod called uh, Tweakaroo. However, the way I normally do it is I could get a page open. Master script. Uh, commands, scripts. Okay. The mod 52 should have the one I'm looking for. Left click. This. It's a script from AutoHotKey. There is the link if you'd like to look into it. Okay. Now we need to style these somehow. Uh, now we're going to have a log on this side. Aha! Yes, it's quite useful. But uh, in some circumstances, uh, what Mod 53 is doing right now is a lot more helpful. But it's not always an option either. So we've got a log there and a log here. Okay. So here we should probably have stone bricks there. Now that is something we're going to have to decide is like when we're coming here, the base of the design on the wall is going to be determined by the height of the ground. Whereas the height of the wall is always going to be the same dependent on the height of the ground on the other side. So, yeah, this is going to be a bit awkward. So it's going to be some terraforming now and then, I think. So I think we should do a similar design to what we did on the other side. Not quite as tall, probably. Just figured out that Alt-Tab does something. Yeah, it's what I used to bring this up. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. And then on this side, we'd have that. Yeah. Let's repeat this. So, we need to get up here. We come around. And we go down to here. I think. Yes. So we're measuring it out in six block segments, and that is how it's designed. Now hopefully this shouldn't look too repetitive from a distance. But repetitive, repetitive enough that it's, uh, like, it looks okay? If it does, we can go through and throw in some block variation. Like using um, andesite in some places, or cracked bricks. Please, place in the right block. Okay, these guys, so here and here, as well as here, here, there's, there's, I think that's going to be the best way we can place those in. No, that's wrong. What am I doing? Again, that is very wrong. I cannot just do this right. There we go. Slabs, please. And then these. So this one's tall, that one's... I fell. Yay! I think I overshot. I don't even see it landing. Yep, I overshot. There we go. Let's go here. Okay, so we've got the solid blocks on this side, and we need to tear out this side. So we've got here, 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 here. Yep, that's right. And here. I swear I just saw somebody flying next to me. And yep, that's good here. Now we come down to this side. 
And we need to tear out these middle two blocks. So that's one from the side. Perfect. And go back one and we place blue terracotta. Okay, and then we place these at the bottom. And stairs starting here going like that. So one, two, three, four. Oh, that's a solid block. That's terracotta, moth. You know what you're doing. That's also a solid block. Big block, the right thing. Okay, there we go. Now, here it is two up, one across. Okay, and then here it is like that. Correct? No. Take this. No. I know, I feel so broken right now. Please. There. Same design on the other side. Now, that's this side of the design fixed. Finished. However you want to say it. Yep, now we do a log. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then a stair. Perfect. Fill this in, I'm going to die of fall damage. I have feather falling, but it really doesn't feel like it does much. I guess I'm used to sprout where I can just kind of jump off of anything. Or I'm used to, um, I'm used to Capecraft 1.13 where I just had flight all the time. That too. I didn't play very long without flight, let alone doing this kind of like big project. Okay, so here we do this middle spot. And then these guys in the middle and around. That and that. There's, that's the wrong orientation. Upwards, across. Am I missing a block here? I filled this out by one too many. I must have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did. This is part of that diagonal. Okay, fixed. <laughs> so here and here. One, two, three, four. Got it. Okay, now slabs in the middle and walls one, two, one, one, two, one. Got it. That's the upper part done. And yeah, I should probably eat. Kind of frustrated I went a bit over there, but works. Do I actually put it here? No, it's uh, next to that. So it'd actually be starting where the diagonal is. There we go. Like, wait a second, what am I putting here? So two, cross and through. There we go, and one deeper. Blue terracotta, please. All the way down. And starting on this side, we have stairs. I think I'm out of now. I am. So we need our stone cutter here. Feed it some stone. There we go. So here. Here. Here and here and there and across. Then one, two, one, two, two, one, two. See? It's easy once you figure out what you're trying to do. And this guy. Back by one. Two across. I think I went one, two, three, there. That wall is now done. Let's go across that side. You cannot teleport with Steak Mav. 
Okay, we're gonna take a moment, eat, and teleport. Okay, into the ocean. Now we need to start on these. So, first of all, that is a mistake in design. Second of all, the height of this is going to change as we're going down. So we need to go through and fill these in. So on this level, it's going to be here. But then I think here we're going to have to go down by one. So first of all, we've got you. I break you, please. And I don't want to place grass. I want to place a stone brick. So we've got two across. One, two. Then we've got one, two, three. And then that is where our next log is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then a stair. Awesome. Let me break these guys. Thank you, server, for the lag back. Here we go down by one. Two across. Okay. One up. Punch that out. Then we do that. And then we use our logs to fill her up again. And we're going to have to fill in that dirt at the bottom. And yep, this is the start of the pillar. Or the diagonal section, I mean. Break you. Break you. And yay, lag back. I love how the lag back is actually like changing your orientation now. So two up from here, we've got those, which we're going to need more of. So that. Uh, stone cutter, please. Let's pick up some of this stuff around here. But let's actually do stone instead of stone bricks. Okay. And come over here. So we've got stone bricks, stone bricks, stairs, slabs, and then it's open all the way up. So break from here up and then fill in these spots with stone bricks. Please there, do it. There we go. No, these aren't supposed to be empty. These go all the way up to the stairs. A little bit higher. Okay, now we need slabs on the hot bar here and across. Perfect. Looks good to me. So from here up, we've got more terrain to replace with stone bricks. Yay, lag back. Okay, we're going to have to pillar a bit here. No way we're going to be able to jump that high. Okay. There's labs. There's... Hey, look, it's a dolphin. Oh, here? Oh, yay, lag back. Here. Here. And these two as well. Got it. Okay. That doesn't look horrible. I still wish there was something we could do about this middle section. I feel like if we had made it seven wide, we could deal with that. Or we could adjust this side to where we don't have this middle section. Let's try that out. So one of the issues I'm having is on every single one of these designs, you can see that. But what it is a product of is we designed this to be six wide, whereas it'd be better if that piece was here and we were waiting for the next middle piece that's hidden by the stair there. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Let's see how well I can pull that off. There we go. Okay. So you can see we've got a double thing here. We don't want that. We want this. Break. 
break those across. And I have these back, please. So something like that. And then we'll come down here, break that, and move this whole design. I'm not sure that we would really do much here, because the design wasn't really centered around that. But here, it is centered around the placement of the stairs. Not only that, but we don't end up with that weird double lamppost stuff. Break those out. Break the second lamppost. One, two. Fizzled in the middle. One, two. That's sideways. Come on. Two. And flabs across the middle. So essentially, we're treating this in a different way than it was before. Instead of treating it as a six wide with a need for caps on both ends, we're treating it as a seven wide with a need for caps on both ends. Or, as it actually is, a six wide that's going to be continued by a second cap. So we know that there's going to be a cap here, so we remove these caps. That's essentially how it is. Okay, and there, lab, lab. I think that just kind of looks a lot better. Now the question is, do we want to keep it with larger pillars on this side and shorter pillars on this side? Or do we want to swap them? Or do we want to actually alternate them like we planned? I'm going to think on that. For now, let's come down here and fix these. We're going to break these out. Now we've actually got those split. Then we can take these, send them down the middle. What we're going to do have stairs on the sides going into these with slabs on top. Okay. And then we can do this in the middle. That and that. So now there are still no blind spots. Because we can always see this. That works for me. And we get rid of this ugly bar here on the side. Okay, and jump up a little bit and get you. We're still going to have to pillar on that other side though. The stair, fizzled bricks, slabs, with stone. Okay, and a slab here, and then we're going to change you up to that. Not shovel. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to pillar here, line down, pillar up a bit, round, got it, and down, and got it. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Let's fix this. He has been warned multiple times. I'm getting sick of it. Let's come over here. We're going to fix this guy. Got it. Okay, and we didn't fix this either. And log here. And stone bricks there. Okay, I think that looks a lot better than it was. Okay. Let's get some ender pearls to get up top. Take a minute to eat. Oh, thank you. Hope I can mine those in time. I mind most of them. <clears throat> Let's see, what did I leave? Just that one? I can't reach it from here, can I? No, I cannot. Okay, let's come on this side. Make sure we're all set. Sure are. 
And yeah, we don't really need to change this much due to the fact that it ends up starting them in the middle down here no matter what we do. So I don't think that design is going to change all that much. So now we need to figure out how we're going to handle uh, going diagonal. So if we think like this. Trying to think about how this is supposed to work. We've got two. We want to try and keep those two. Two, 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 right? Now, they're going to be a little bit more awkward to walk across. We end here. There, okay. The next one would be here, right? Then here. Then here. And that would be the next walkway. And then this would be the final walkway. And if we come to this side, we should have one here. Now there is an issue with this. This is actually part of the diagonal. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Is it? Hmm. So one. I'm so confused. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the spaces aren't are part of the beginning. I guess that's how we're counting. I think I was counting opposite when I first began. Hmm. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that actually needs to go diagonal. So I don't know how we're going to manage this transition, to be honest. So we've got that, but then there's nothing here. And then it'll come up here. Okay. That's the end. So then that's really this side. Huh. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then that's this side. And then we're supposed to transition this off. So we're stuck with a three wide. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I mean, we can make it one wider, I think. We just have to make sure to keep it with that. So if we're starting here, right, then our next one would have to make sure to start at the same position. Keep going. We've got a new one here, so it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Not how it is. And that's part of the problem. If you're starting from four, you really have to go down to three. Hmm. Go down here and figure this out. So we've got one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So let's just say that's our wall. Matches it pretty well. Then we need to take this path six blocks in that direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We start a new path that goes off one, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. And then we need to take that and we need to go six blocks off in this direction. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Based on the previous position. So if we're basing 
the count off of this line, we've got one block we can go out this way. And that'll end us here. And two blocks we can go out this way. Back a little bit. And that'll end us here. And then from here, it would be one block out this way. Kind of want to have this swap. So one, two, three, four, and two blocks out this way. Hmm. Let's actually replace that cap block. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's our restart point. Okay. So we've got a new line here. And a new line here. It'll then go off of this. One, two. See, and that doesn't make any sense. One, two, one, two, three to make it four wide. I know that does kind of work. Hmm. Go back up here. Well, go get an Ender Pearl. Went a little too far there. There's some here, though. Needed to make sure I got over this plant, but I should end up right there. Nope, a little too soon. Now, can I throw this wheat away? Here we go. Let's get back up here. Okay. And we will mark out our upcoming path, like we did down there. So this is part of our path. So we're going to mine those out. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's the end. So then we've got two on one side. See, and that's where I was messing up. I wasn't wanting to go next to that log, but we're going to have to. And one on this side. Really? Only one on the other side? I guess that makes sense, but... Okay. One, two, three... Four, five, six. Okay. And we need to switch to have these. That's our path. I don't think there's any other way to transition properly. It's just... Poof. You've transitioned. So... That's going to have to work. It's just going to make doing a proper like walkway kind of hard. We could do walls going across, but then you can't really defend those. I mean, that's kind of walkable. We've used open walls on this side. You end up with a good block of space to walk through. We'll have to do a wall here too, though. Okay. Then we could do... Can't really do stairs, but like there's no way we're gonna have any open spots here. Hmm. Well, we could do stairs. We do them like this. And I mine this one block there. But then you really end up with like no space open and that block is still blocking you. We do it this way. I think the same problem shows. Yeah, except you end up with light way less space. Huh. Diagonal is rough. Yeah, let's just leave it closed for now and then we'll do kind of a more defensive sideways so it's taller you can crouch underneath it and then we'll have this be a little bit taller too 
Okay. I think that'll work. That'll kind of be the upstairs. So I'll have six, and then the middle three be like that. It'll just kind of go up and down going across. Okay, now for the bottoms, we've got to fill those in. Got one extra on this side. Can I play and my brother? It is a public Java Edition server, so as long as you have Java Edition of the game, you are able to play. So these. And we will do stairs here and here. And slabs. I wonder how 53 is doing with his pickaxes. Pretty good. Okay. I don't think that looks bad, but let's try this. That one, that one, and that one. Yeah, that looks okay. Probably should do some block variation, though. Let's grab those. That'll split that. Have any of those slabs? We do. Perfect. Let's probably just split this whole middle section into those. Can I get on top of here, please? Down by two and a slab. There we go. So now it's split up a little bit. And then we're going to have a log part of the next one. So that would be here. I'm kind of confused as to where that lays out. So if we do the same diagonal measurement, so it'll be here. And one block out. So here, and one block out. No. Here, one, two, log. So here, one, two, log. That's way far out. Something's off there. So we've got our diagonal piece going from here. Going one, two, three, four, five, six. The next one would be there. And then the wall piece. No. The next one would be here. The wall piece is here. The log would be there. So one is the wall piece. Two is the outer piece. No, because we're measuring from here. So one, two, wall piece. Okay. Got it. I can get back through there. Okay. One, two, log. That would be here. Let's get a log. Uh, this is not an Xbox server. Uh, you have to have Java edition of the game. Here. One, two, two. So one, two, three, four. Five, six. Got it? Coming across, and I have fallen. Perfect. Let's get some ender pearls. Okay. We have left an endermite behind. Down. Got it? Fill these in. And I'm out of stone bricks. Okay, let's get our stone cutter. I'm out of stone, apparently. Let's uh, use up these last two stacks. And then we'll head over to the stone forge. Yeah, I don't think that looks too bad. Kind of bends in as it's going across. They'll have to design the other side, though. I want to see what this looks like up against another one of its own design. We ended up changing it after uh, last time. We got a few built. I think that's it. Yes, that's the last piece there. Okay, and this side. Pillar up here. The Endermite is still there. 
starting to think they don't despawn anymore because I could have sworn it's been five minutes since I spawned him. Jump up there. Oh, no! Don't break things. I think I'm going to have to go check on Ma 53 now. Okay, not too much was broken. Fix that pretty easy. Yep, looks like we're all set. Sweet. Let's go back over here. Keep breaking that farmland. It's getting kind of annoying. I cannot wait until I move that outside the wall. Sword, please. Okay. Hmm. That really doesn't feel nearly as long. I think I did something wrong. So we are starting. Just count from 12. We've got here. That's our new line. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. It's supposed to be here. Okay. Still doesn't feel nearly as long, but we're going to go with that. So, that in with grass. If I had enough, just dirt. So, from the side, we've got this as all smooth stone, which we are currently out of. Let's go home. Uh, let's go here. The smooth stone should be some down in the forges, furnaces. Perfect. We're going to be running out of a lot of stone stuff here soon. Go. We're going to land in the field again. Yep, of course. Ah, I swear, this field, it's in the way. <laughs> Okay, smooth stone, going from the top to bottom, and then one from the top, we do a slab, and then one, two, three, from that we do another slab. Okay, thank you for the lag back. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. So we're going to do here. And this, come on. Okay. And then two on either side. Which we did. Perfect. So then this can go here. No, one down. This one and this one. Got it. So benzen goes up. Now we need to go up and do the top, and then we'll work on the others. I'm doing it again. Okay, uh, let's go see what this message is. Got it. And Ma 51. I am in the ocean. So we need to finish sorting out this side. Here. Here. Perfect. And we're going to go up and down all the way across here. Okay. And down. Oh, here comes the damage. There we go. Perfect. And the last row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now we have these going across. So it's full blocks, full block here and on each side, and then everything is covered in slabs. Wait a second, what's wrong here? We've got two at the end here. So, it should be here one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and here we've got one in the middle. Um, ooh, we're not counting where the log is. There. We're going to move this back by one. And here and there we have these for the log. 
We don't have a log there just yet. But yeah, that kind of makes sense. So then slabs on this one, this one, and this one. And then that's where we start the next log. We do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's the end. And yeah, let's go get some more stone bricks. Because we are running low. That's kind of required. And then we're going to give this project another 20 minutes and then move on. How are those still down here? I feel like we, yeah, we did break something. There we go. That's fixed. So. What? Huh. Okay. Like, wait a second. I just placed those and they got mined out again. Good job, Mav. <clears throat> Let's grab some stone. Should be enough for now. I think these walls are turning out pretty well. Which is going to be quite a project because we've got a pretty large area to fix. Okay, so let's do stone bricks. We're going to need about three stacks, I think. Okay. And here. Here. And here. Going all the way down and across. So that'll be our front piece. Probably be filling these into. Because they are going to be a pain once we get this part in. Come on, you can do it. Here and here. Okay. Now, the easy part about these front designs is they're, is they're all going to be at the same height. It's not going to be the case for the designs in the back because the shoreline changes. Now we need an enderpearl to get on top. Okay. So back to this. Perfect. See where are we landing? Nice. Well, that gives us a chance to fill on this side, I guess. This does not need to be here. So we're doing two blocks on this side, I believe. Uh, which is going to be weird, I guess. And I actually mine the right block. Please. Right things. Go here. Okay. Now we can get up here. So two down. And now we get to do this again. So we've got our log starting or ending. Don't even know. Got our log for this row, but we never put these in place. One, two, one, two, one, two. And then that's the last one for that row. Now we need to put the log in for this one. Should be here. I have an axe, please. Thank you. I did not mean to strip that. Now I gotta throw it away. And chiseled stone. Perfect. Got that sorted out. Now let's go ahead and put these in. Okay. And we're going to go through. Is it really two on that side? Oh no, it's two on this side, but we've taken it up by one half block. Only one on this side. Before we fall again, we will need food. Ah, okay. Food, the vein, which reminds me, we should probably go and breed the cows and kill some so that the uh, entity killing thing doesn't get on us. <clears throat> okay, and falling. Perfect, and down again. That uh, delayed fall damage is always fun. Makes the game just feel slightly off. 
And then we've got, where's our log here? And then this one. So then we've got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three slabs on these three blocks. And that's the upper part done. Now this part's got me a little bit concerned because we've gone from this way facing diagonal to that way facing wall. How does that even work? Because like here, we did the exact same motion, right? We had a this way facing wall. Then we went this way diagonally. But our diagonal is facing this way. Like, what fills in the space? Diagonal ended here. where I hate dealing with this kind of math. We go forward by one, we're still facing that way. We're gonna have to do something to fill in this corner. Hello, Shadow. Welcome to the stream. Like here, our diagonal worked out perfectly. Why is it facing like this here? This is so weird. We did the exact same thing. Why did it show up differently here? Like at some point, we actually changed what we were doing. So we went this way, 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 and then this way, and then here, it was as simple as just doing that, okay? Can I get on top of here? So if I need to transition to go that way, I don't understand what this block here is. I just need to add a block, add a block, but that's, it's not as simple as it was down there, which is what's got me confused. Because that's extra blocks. Down there, it was literally just part of what was there. I don't know. I hate this kind of math. Because these weren't there down there. So, I got Terraria, so I'm starting it up for the first time. Whilst I wait, I thought I'd come watch. Cool. I still don't know why that's all messed up. We only have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... One, two, three, four, five. We're missing a block here for one. That would be a problem. Uh, let's grab an ender pearl. I think I've overshot that by quite a bit. We're going to end up in the ocean. And water sounds. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get on to the land. And come on. I went straight up and it's going backwards. Yep. I always thought it was funny that you can actually manage to ender pearl backwards. Yeah, but like you can actually ender pearl behind you. Like, how does the math work out there? Oh my gosh. I just need to get scaffolding blocks. Okay. Might have a heart. And I hardly had any food left, but. Ah, <sighs> so one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not missing a block, you are lying. Hmm. If it goes straight up, it basically does what a fully charged arrow does and picks a random direction to fall. Ah, okay. It's just it's generally backwards, because why not? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not missing a block. But then I go out by one. And on that one, I go out by two. And then the wall says go here. Hmm. 
I don't know. This isn't stuff that I would have added, so. Okay. This will be the start of the next wall, but this is something I'll have to figure out how to deal with. So then down here, we go one, two, one, two. That's off center. It looks on center, but it's off because there's two diagonals and one. Okay, one, two, here. And smooth stone, not ender pearls. Why do you always request this song, Shadow? Uh, da, da, da. Bottom. Wait. What is this wait? Uh, from here to here, then down. Got it. And then stairs. Cool. So that's that side done. And now we would start the wall. So let's go here. Thank you. Hey, I phased through a wall. Perfect. Figure out what we're doing here. So this is a this is a pretty bland wall at the moment. First of all, we need to figure out where we're placing our stone walls. I think it's where those are logs. I think it's where those are. The question is, do we place it here or do we place it here? I think here makes the most sense. So whichever side it's coming from. That'll help us differentiate. So, yep. Perfect. And back down. That is how you die from fall damage. Here. Over by one. And down. See, that does make it look better, but we still have to fit stuff in the middle. So this is going to be more defensive. So we don't want to have any places they can see through like we did on the other side. What is this? I found a cave that has just completely collapsed on me. Thank you. down. This goes all the way down. Okay. Am I out now? I am. Let's grab the stone cutter, which I have left on the other side, and I have no enderpearls. Uh, perfect. And diamond pickaxe. Now, I actually want to enderpearl over the wall now. Let's see how I do. Okay. Stone cutter. Thank you. Stone bricks. Stone bricks. Stone bricks. And a pearl over the wall. That is way too far. That's going to put me on that island out that direction. Yep. <laughs> Called it. Okay. So now we need to use these stone bricks. Here to here, here to here, and let's break this sand. Oh, thank you. I totally wanted to have that happen. Okay. I think we've finished all of those. Let's do this last one here. I'm trying to make sure there isn't any terrain showing underneath the wall here. Oh, thank you. Perfection in the slightest. Why is that sticking out all weird? Ah, because that's the end of the wall. That would explain it. Okay, let's do that one. We're going to come up to this side. 
I think we're just going to leave this as a massive pit, because why not? Hmm. What to fill in here? We could do an overlap of the smooth stone, rather than on the other side having it lay in. The mine down by one, make sure we're in as much center as we can be. Go up by three, a stone slab. Go up by two, and a stair in. Go up by two, and a stair in. That's a slab. That's a stair. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. And then here we would do one and a stair. Ideally at the same height, actually. So here and a stair. That's the other thing we're going to watch for. The terrain's going to somewhat change as we're going through. Stair. Put a stair here. Yeah, that looks okay. Let's grab this, and we're going to break this terrain block. And we're going to go through and do the same thing. So if we keep all of these guys at this height. You know what? Let's go ahead and fill this hole in. This is just going to look stupid if it's all the way buried down there. Okay, so. Smooth stone going from one, two, three, four. And then a slab on top. So we're going to do from here. From here. To here. And then one, two. And then a stair in, and then one, two, and then a stair in, and then one, and a stair, and then one, there. Cool. And then we're going to tear this terrain out. And we'll cover up what is left uncovered at the end. So, one, two, three, four, and then a slab, and then one, two, 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 and then a stair, and then one, and a stair, and then one, and a stair. So the only thing we have to cover up is the single dirt block here. Perfect. So now we are actually going to move on to a different project simply because that one is going to take quite a bit of just repeating of the same tasks. I think that design is going to work out pretty well, though. I will try and get some feedback later on it, though. Let's get some of this stuff put away. We've got a ton of stone brick items here. Our clay. Go here. I have left stone brick item. Okay. Clay and or dirt, grass, and sand goes up here. Okay, uh, sand, and sandstone I generally just throw away. Perfect. So now we need logs and a trash can. Trash can and logs. Let me pull this video up. Okay, so I have tested this farm to make sure it works because it's listed as a 1.11 farm. Okay, here we go. Pause the music. So I have a world download of it and it definitely works and I'm not going to make it as big as this is. Um, but I'm sick of harvesting chorus fruit, so I'm going to make this. Uh, it's pretty simple. You just end up repeating the same thing going up. But I'm only going to make it like 15 blocks tall. So let's go Hi, through everyone. that. In today's video, I'm going to show you a new version of the large chorus fruit farm I recently built on a Cycraft server and also make a tutorial on it. So this farm is based on something that Toast Redstone recently discovered. He discovered if you send in an endstone block under a chorus flower, it would cause the flower to instantly grow as you can see here. Okay. And the concept is just chained up. So the chorus flower that is planted right here would grow 240 blocks high and you would harvest all of those plants and get yeah, zero to one fruits per plant. So we can get 120 chorus fruits per single chorus flower. 
I'm just gonna turn this on quickly. And as you can see here, the chaining is upwards and the stems of the plant are broken and all the chorus, flower, uh, chorus fruit would drop down. So this version is a little bit slower than the one I built on a Cycloft server, but doesn't matter much. Um, it takes yeah, 24 seconds until the flower rises at the top. And on the Cycloft, we use two players because a second player could actually break the flower at the top and this way we could get it back. Uh, which name? In single player, it's probably not reasonable. Oh, yeah, I see that. <laughs> That's because I'm trying to watch this at the same time. Game, not name. Uh, let's see. Uh, two. That seems better. Stop. Okay. I'm gonna try to break Fixed. the flower at the top. It's probably a better. Okay. To just build a small chorus flower farm. But per invested chorus flower, you would get 120 fruit out of it. If you would grow mm -hmm. the flower normally, so like this, then you get 12. Uh, as if you break it, the stem you just get 12 fruit on average. So it's definitely the better choice to use this farm to grow your flowers. If you have enough chorus flowers or have a second player to get them back, then you can also AFK this farm. So you can turn this on here and then the clock will start. Just have to aim at the side of the endstone block and every. Now, on that note, I think you're actually able to add a dispenser at the top to uh, drop the chorus flower, by the way. So if we grab a dispenser, we don't have any. You um, make me happy, uh, Again, it's not so telling me who that follow. Oh, thank you for the follow, Xcrum Enforced. Didn't tell me last time, um, but it should be announcing it in chat, and it's not. Uh, thank you for the follow. So if you actually take an arrow and a dispenser, no need for a dispenser, a bow, uh, you are able to uh, fire an arrow into forest flower at the top, and it will still drop the forest flower. So I think that's what we're going to do at the top of it because that makes it easier to maintain the same amount of chorus flowers. Where do I have my string? String. I know I have some. I love how that just randomly started playing itself again. Okay, three string. Perfect. And now we're coming down here for some sticks. One, two, three. Okay, and we need a redstone dust and eight cobblestone. Okay, and the back over here. So a bow and a dispenser. Okay, so if we go out here, we're going to use the end stone to pillar up. I did test this earlier. I just want to verify. Oh, down by one. Cross and out. Then our dispenser. Arrows in it, and the block of redstone needs to go on top, not inside of it. Ta da! And you get a fresh chorus flower. We're going to pause that and continue. In 1.8 seconds, you could plant a new chorus flower. So if you would AFK for one hour in here and wouldn't run out of flowers, then you get 240,000 chorus fruit. So all the chorus fruits would be collected by this water stream at the bottom here. Uh, there's also some loss, but it's really negligible. It's less than 1% of the fruit that would fall out to the side. If you really wanted to, you could also try to um, collect them somehow. Since you get so many chorus fruits, it doesn't matter much. So I just planted down 10 flowers and we already got that, and there's still some more coming in. The farm is really lag friendly for a farm that does so many operations per second, because the repeatable pattern doesn't involve any redstone dust. Redstone dust will be the main lag causer in any redstone contraption. Also, it's quite easy to build. It also doesn't uh, contain any repeaters, which is uh, a source of constant errors if you do some repeated timings wrong. So it's really easy to build as well. So you just need some pistons, observers, and redstone blocks. The purpose of those terracotta blocks is to keep the falling fruits inside of the chamber so they would be picked up by the wall stream. Of course, you could use different blocks 
um, for those just wanted to mark them. And this farm would work in 1.11, uses some observers, which are, were introduced in 1.11, but I built this in the first 1.12 snapshot. As you can see, I used the new concrete and terracotta blocks, but it would also work in 1.11. Alright, so now let's start with the tutorial. So this would be the endstone block that you place your chorus flower on. And of course you want to build this farm as low as possible, so you can build it as high as possible, which reaches up to sky limit. The higher you build, the more you get. And yeah, below that endstone block you need three blocks of space. Um, so if your bedrock level would be here, then it's alright. Um, so first of all we need a dropper that would give you the chorus flower back. So we need two droppers right here. And also an on switch. Just gonna add a lever right here. And okay, so going through this, he makes the clock and sticky pistons. That's quite a bit of sticky pistons. I think we can afford a bit. So warp shops. I'm going to keep this off to the side from now, though, so that we can actually... Oh, he didn't restock his pickaxe. Dang it. Okay, we're going to keep that off to the side, and we're actually going to focus on this. Okay? So, I'm going to assume we're going to use a stack of slime. If I come into here, it is 200 for slime. Where are we going? Let's start the music again. Calculator. So 200 times 64, 1,000 or 12,800. Perfect. And afford that just fine. So now we need pistons. Let's go grab some iron, cobblestone, and redstone we've got the redstone and iron now we need cobblestone and planks probably going to need a stack to be honest okay. we need to go over to the stone so we'll grab the planks here we'll make that now it seems to just be a ton of pistons redstone blocks and observers uh, we've got a ton of observers, but I can't tell if it's a mix of sticky pistons and pistons, or just all sticky pistons. So we're going to have both sticky pistons and regular pistons in our inventory when going into this. Okay, so there's that. And we don't, we do have a crafting table over here. So pistons, we need iron and redstone for. Okay, so now we've got a stack and a bit of pistons. I'm going to pause this and go so back to the beginning of the tutorial. On later. So we used a few for the and clock. I'm going to skip the clock for now. I dropped it, but, but we need to see where we're basing that off of. That's why we need to push in the endstone with two steps. So first this piston pushes it over here and this one does. We're just going to add another repeater right here. So now we could also start with the repeating piston. Okay, so he has a endstone piece with a pad of ice below it. So we're going to get the endstone piece and the ice so that we can start from there. Everywhere beyond that just seems to be his clock that runs the dispensers. So, ice should be up here. Please. Don't have any packed ice. Home bikes. Come on. Aha! Ice acquired. That easy. Okay. So, we need. Probably describes how big it needs to be, to be honest. So we need two droppers right here. And also an on switch. Just gonna add a lever right here. And we could also start adding the water stream. 
So we make structure right here. So three by three with the corner, corner taken out. Corner. Hold on. Three by three with the corner taken out, and then on the right side, you do two blocks or a two by two. We're building it out here, and we want our chorus fruit to be here. But dig this area out. Okay. Down a little bit. Perfect. Oh look, it's an underground pond. Amazing. Okay, and we take our pickaxe and go around. Perfect. So underneath this, he dug out a 3x3 three three corner in that side. Taken out. Then, this section on this corner on this side, 2x2 two two added. So it kind of looks like that. Okay, I am disabling song requests because it keeps starting another song for some stupid reason. Perfect. Fall on later. And now let's add the clock system. So we need redstone dust, arrow Oh, so this is the clock for the whole thing. We just hook into it for the uh, dropper. So we're going to have to go back and get some repeaters for that. I didn't throw that. Okay, come on. Or you can walk. Or maybe we should under pearl. Server seems to have a bit of a problem at the moment. Not letting me eat, and that Ender Pearl keeps glitching backwards by a bit. Okay, there we go. So come over here. We have some things we can throw out. Those. We've yet to make one of these into sticky pistons. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So now we need to come over here and grab some supplies for this. So redstone dust and repeater, as well as a lever. A repeater, redstone dust we have. We need to make a lever, so let's grab a stick. Come over to the crafting table, make a lever. Lever's made. This is a couple of blocks. And make a comparator clock. Comparator clock, so we need some comparators. So here we have repeaters and they are in total um, 18 red sticks so every 18 red sticks we get a new signal and we also have to power those oh that's easy then okay well, let's go down and do that go okay and we have our lever stuck there so I need to see where he places the give you the cross flower back. Two out. So we need two droppers right here. And also an on switch. Just gonna add one an off. So if we go one, two, that's where that's placed. One off to here. Okay. So that's the lever. Go one down. Or no, he has this, okay, I see what he did. This is one higher from where you're going to be standing. Along with the ice being one higher. Okay. So then coming from that grass block there, which we're going to replace with a cobblestone block for now. Not a redstone block. That's going to make things useless. We're going to do that and that. The redstone dot there. Get forward to where he's making the clock. Now let's add the clock system. So we need redstone dust, arrow dirt, and a repeater. And make a comparator clock. Okay, somewhere along the line I've messed up my measurements because this should be under the ice. 
How far under the ice, or how far under the endstone do you have that ice? Right here. One block. Okay. The ice is a little bit higher once again. Perfect. So this is our clock. Out of ice blocks. Comparator. So here we have two repeaters. Perfect. So comparator. And two repeaters on four ticks apiece. So one, two, four. One, two, three, four. Break that. And this. Comparator in subtract mode. That should be our clock built. I will need a lever. That. Perfection. Okay. So next step, and sir. In total, um, 18 red pop. Sticks. So every 18 red you sticks, make me happy, follow. Thank you for the follow. Oh, I really, happy. really wish it was properly announcing it. Um, thank you for the follow, Fergie. Happy to have you. The flowers. We're just gonna add another repeater right here. Okay, so he's hooking up the dispenser no, clock that we're not using. The repeating piston layout. So we need to so we tick in endstone every layer, of course, and we just alternate between left and right. Okay. So the endstone pattern would be like this. Of course, we couldn't have the endstone right here because otherwise the flower couldn't grow. Yes, this is joinable. This is a public server of so Cape Rift. Uh, looks at wire. Also me. Yes, enslaved electricity. Perfect. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be pretty simple from here on out. Just kind of alternating the same so pattern back and forth. Push in the endstone with two steps. So first this piston pushes it over here, and this one zero ticks it. Uh, and this piston does a zero ticket block because that's not really necessary. Now so alternate the pistons on each side. And then we are I'll definitely going to need scaffolding here. Piston every second block right this here. is one of the things that I really don't like about Il Mango videos. Is... Um, he does it all in creative, but it's like really, really like minimized redstone, so it's hard to move around in it. Um, so it can be kind of awkward to do. Come on, teleport. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to fill back in this top spot here. And we'll work on the collection system later. Okay, so we have from here. Go back a little bit. You make me happy, uh, thank you for the follow. So Wary Wharf, happy. happy to have you. So we have one here. Yeah, this is going to be fun to place. Uh, let's see, what would be the best way to do this actually? Probably something like this. So I would then just kind of come up the side here. Probably too wide. So I'd come up one side and place it on the other side. I have moved my end stone. I need it here. Hmm. There we go. Stop working weird, Mav. Okay, so here, no, you're too low. Have a little here, here, there we go. Now it's working. So now we go here. I'm not wanting to make this ridiculously tall. Gosh, why is scaffolding so awkward to place sometimes? You there we go. And so thank you for the follow, new boy. Happy, happy to have you. So here, here, here. And I think go a little bit taller. Not really wanting to go too much taller than that, really. One here and here. Okay, now we gotta go on the other side. Here you go. 
Cape Craft. It is a public Java Edition server, so as long as you have Minecraft Java Edition, it should be rather simple. Perfect. So one here going all the way up. And one here going all the way up. Got it. So from that one to that one to that one to that one. Awesome. So you enter play.capecraft.net into the multiplayer menu and you should be set to go. Okay, that's it. So now we need to go through and place all the pistons. Piston is it over here and this one zero ticks it. Uh, and this piston does a zero ticket block because that's not really necessary. Now so alternate the pistons on each side and then also add piston every second block right here. And I'm just gonna build those um, yeah, four layers um, but this will repeat itself onto the sky limit afterwards. So now okay, so he wants us to go through and place the pistons first. So we've got the sticky pistons we need. Oh, phantoms, fun. We gotta kill these first and then we can go sleep. One, two, three, go. Okay. Wait for them to swoop again because I don't have a bow. Come on, buddy. So this guy's coming. He's going to come first, though. If he can get around that block. Okay, I didn't get the other guy. They came at basically the same time. Ah, okay, come on. I really hate it when they do that because they're like, oh yeah, I'm going to fly upside down. And then they're like, wait a second, I can't do that. I haven't really bothered with bows yet, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I probably should, to be honest. I just haven't really. Okay, we're set. That should be enough sleep. And now we can use an enderpearl to get back over there. Uh, can I get around that lantern, please? So we need to go out this door. Go! Jump. Hi. I'm not going to be here in a second. <laughs> okay, let's eat for a second. So, pistons. They need to be placed here and here. I'm thinking the easiest way to do that, not knowing how he's doing it later, uh, you, the actual easiest way would probably be something like this. So, placing it. Actually, yeah, this is probably the easiest way overall. So let's grab this. We're going to pillar up. And then we'll do the same thing going the other side. Here. Go up a little bit. Can't step out of the block at all. But this should work. Last one. Here. Got it. Okay. And around. So that's that side done. Now we need to do the same thing here. Probably do these on that side. So we can just do both. I am unable to respond in game at the moment. Do this. This. All the way up. Make sure we're grabbing the right side. Okay. Perfect. I come down. Yep, we need to go up by one. Music isn't playing. I'm aware because I keep switching back to the video and playing both at once is a little bit disorienting. Can I mind this, please? Yeah. Uh, we can go take a look at him. This. Up. Okay, that's the wrong spot. Go a little bit higher. Why didn't I look at how high we were? Come on. 
You make me happy. Thank you Bob. for the follow, Girl so Gone Nuts. Happy to have you. Happy. I have that sticky piston. Here. Here. And here. Down a little bit. Oh, we didn't have endstone up all the way this side. Hmm. A little bit suspicious, but okay. There. And then now we need sticky pistons. Here. Wrong spot, Mav. Here. And... Here. Okay. Now we can go down, break them all up, and then we're gonna go check out this person. You almost fell again. That sounds like you need a better chair. Chairs should stop you from falling. Okay, let's go check this out. Did he leave? Nope. Okay. Just a server lagging. So he's in a boat. Not much I can do about a person in a boat. Hmm. Do that. Start my proof recording software. I'm going to get a pop. I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat, guys! Yeah, he's really not doing anything. He's just in a boat. I think he took the boat, but just kind of there. Oh, well, that's something. <laughs> well. Let's upload that. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, let's grab some scaffolding. Can't do much about him being in a boat, but I can do a lot about him hacking. Just caught it. Caught it in dream. LOL. <laughs> okay, we need scaffolding here. Not in that direction, please. This, and here, I think. I don't think I can place it in this orientation. No, I can't. Uh, where would I go if I needed to place it? So I can't place it if I'm standing here. I have to place it from here, then. Can't wait for the ban appeal, I know. Um, a little bit higher. So from here to here, we've got this offset, guys. This is the wrong place. Come on. You guys have no idea how much we laugh about those. There are so many people that just submit the most ridiculous ban appeals. Honestly, it's a really cool system because there are legitimate times where somebody is like didn't like, or they, uh, it's not that they didn't like what they did, it's that they actually feel bad about what they did, and they're willing to fix it, or um, they're willing to not do it again, and we'll take them back, but then there are other times where they're like, oh, I didn't do anything, and you should unban me, because I, I didn't do anything, and then we're like, hey, we actually collect proof, and we can prove it to you. And they're like, oh, well, that's not valid proof. Wouldn't I be doing this? Like, if we ban somebody for x-ray hacking and all they did was, like, go for iron and redstone, but then along the way they'd pick up diamonds. They said, wouldn't I be going directly for the diamonds? Like, sometimes, but not all the time. Okay, well, we've got the sticky pistons. I don't know what you mean there. Uh, let's do this. Well, let's start with the wiring. So those pistons obviously need to push in the block and normal pulse is enough. So we use just a normal gate tick pulse coming from an observer and we power this block right here. Hold on, are you saying that this is an actual like YouTuber that tries to bypass servers? Or and uses that as an excuse? Or is it just some word for describing that? 
and this gate could move so right here just move the block for now so the pistons aren't getting powered and those observers would receive a signal from an observer tower which we put in the back which would go up to sky limit afterwards and now we also need to zero check this piston right okay, here we're good we also add skip piston over there uh, it's basically a program that allows the player to move automatically, mine certain blocks, and do several other things by the player just putting in the command. Well, that sounds pretty cool, but yeah, that's uh, that's not something you want in a survival server, no. That's actually something I was thinking of coding for, like, me doing in uh, like private survival stuff, just because it sounds like a cool challenge, but it's not something you would want to use in a public survival server that's uh that's not fair to anybody else but it sounds like something that would be fun to automate the rest block in front so the idea is to push in the rest of the block uh, this position here so it would power the sticky piston and then in the same same game tick remove the power source again so this piston would zero tick the endstone block and in order to achieve that we're gonna grab the redstone block this piston right here which is extended no, that removes uh, part of the uh, the fun of it. Like I said, I feel like it'd be fun to code it. Now we just need to add another sticky piston right here, with another block in front. And basically, if this redstone block goes into that position, this will be pushed out. So, as you can see here, we get a zero tick pulse of that piston. Since this one is also... Okay, I just want to show you how complicated this is. I swear there are easier ways to get zero tick pulses in 1.14, but this still works, so we're gonna do it. <laughs> but there's literally four pistons there to get a zero tick pulse. It's like you push it into here, right? Which powers this piston and this piston, right? And then as soon as this redstone block gets to here, it pushes this one away, which unpowers this one. Yes, flying machines are allowed. Yeah, this is too complicated. So let's get started on this. So we've got observers going up here. I said to leave the blocks out, but that's not too big of an issue. So up this way. No, that's too forward. Come on, pick it up, please. So I'm assuming we're going to have to do some sort of offset between one side and the other, uh, between these two observer lines. Only need to go to this height. Okay, and then here, and we're just going to scaffold up. Okay. And this is going to power both the piston here and the piston next to it that starts the uh, double, quadruple, whatever, zero tick clock. And now we need sticky pistons to go there. Question! Fire away! did not want to place through that. I wanted to place on the edge of it. And I come see what you're doing. I'm not currently accepting TP requests. Perfect. Yay, full damage. Perfect. Okay, so we've got that laid out. Now the next piston needs to go here. Okay. And we should set up here. I'm going to run out of sticky pistons just on one side. Because every piston in here is a sticky piston. So this side goes here. And I... Oh, jeez. Good job, Moth. No! Don't fall. Why do you keep making mistakes? It's not allowed. Like you were so close to the end. Come over by a little bit and up. 
Okay, that's done. Let's try not to take full damage going down this time. Break these. Okay. So we've got one piston facing this way. Now we need to flip it around and do the piston facing this way. It's going to be coming up this side. We'll place it from here. I've got to admit, scaffolding has been really useful in this situation. Oh, that's too high. Don't break it. Okay. Thank you, server lag. Though, one thing I do hate about 1.14 is how much it's lagging the server. Is that all of it? No, we've got a couple more here. One. Got it. Do I hear 1.14.10? No, I just said 1.14. Hello, Reduced Eagle. Welcome to the stream. And now we got to go up and place solid blocks here. No, here. Redstone blocks here and redstone blocks here. So what do we want to use as solid blocks? Do you think they will need that many updates to fix all this lag? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so we're going to do redstone blocks first. Perfect. These should be nice and easy. I think the solid blocks and redstone blocks should be easy too. Just because there's no orientation that we have to worry about. And I fill her up right next to him. And I actually place this though. <laughs> like placing the scaffolding tower is harder than placing the blocks themselves. Okay, uh, and stone bricks please. So once we get those placed in. Well, that works I guess. Not gonna do anything at the moment though. I have 1.13.0.4 in Minecraft. That sounds like a Forge version. Though I may be incorrect about that. Okay. And here. Yeah, that definitely looks like something a little bit funky is going on. It's like there's a little bit of texture meshing. And just push ourselves off. There we go. We've got... Oh, we missed a side. Dang it. Here and here. Server? That took so long. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, now we've got to get the same piston and block layout done on this side. We need more sticky pistons. You Two. It is literally 7.75. So Hold on. Happy. Timings report. We're going to check this out. Uh, thank you for the follow. Reduced Eagle. Welcome to the community. Let's click this guy. Bring this over here. And we're actually going to take a look at what's uh, causing our TPS lag at the moment. What are you building? I am building a chorus fruit farm. So what are we lagging because of? Guys, the rabbits are taking over. Oh, it's just like stupid lag. Yeah, it's um it's nothing in particular. It's just the amount of entities and all that they end up taking up. Because, like, none of these numbers are outside of range. It's just the amount of things that they're doing and the amount that there are. So, connection handler. See, it's just do tick. And then do tick says it's taking up... Or 20% of that is tick entities. And then tick entities is entity tick. But then 10% of that is tick entity, but then no significant percentage of that is any particular entity. Which doesn't make any sense. Ah, okay, let's get the second part done. In fact, we're going to start the music back up because this is going to take a minute. Uh, let's do this guy. Perfect. 
I must connect to my Spotify account. Okay. There. Okay. So let's go back to this. We have this piston, which comes out. I'm trying to remember this. Uh, I'm looking at this mirrored, so we need to do these in the back. So we've got observers coming out of the back here. All the way to the top. We're probably going to need more of these, to be honest. Wait a second. This shouldn't be here. Yeah, we're going to need more observers. There's no way three is going to take us all the way to the top here. Oh, I fell. Yay. Let's go! Get more observers. Okay. Uh, not exactly how far I wanted to make it, but okay. Can I have some food, please? I'm gonna bump down my music a little bit. For me, at least. Okay? Oh, I'm all the way up here. And let's see. Where can I make observers? I need quartz. Okay, I need to throw a phantom member in a way, and I need to find a crafting table. Crafting table is here, and I make observers. I can make 33 observers due to lack of redstone and cobblestone. Okay, I would like to make a stack if possible, so let's go over and get some more cobblestone. Some days I feel like I can beat my... Um, Ender pearl throw all the way over there, but it doesn't generally happen. Okay, let's see. Observers, we can make the remaining stack. Perfect. Gonna need to eat a little bit before the next ender pearl throw. One, two. Come on, I should be healing more than that. There we go. And off we go. Should land right there. So now we can go up and place the observers in. So those should be placeable from here. Got it. So first one goes here. Second there, third there, fourth there, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, all the way back down. And next, we have a piston to the left, or to the right, we have. And we've got piston here, which we have. So we've got our piston layout here. We just needed the observers and the redstone blocks. So, well, we have these pistons, but we're missing this piston. So we need a piston here. Right? Oh, I don't know. Hold on. So, trying to mirror this to my head. We've got the observer. And to the right of that, we've got that piston. Okay. Then we've got. I really don't know. Let's see if he goes the other side. No. Okay. So, got this and this, this and this. We need one here. Okay. I don't know why that was breaking my brain so much. That's the wrong spot. Oh, we need more sticky pistons, don't we? Okay. Warp. Drops. Bits and mobs should be here. Perfect. Okay. Back up. One here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and there. Try not to take full damage. Now, is that the one that needs blocks? 
Yes. So this is the one that needs blocks and redstone. Go ahead and do that. So we're going to grab that and that. And I have those. No? So block, redstone. Block, redstone. Block, redstone. Block, redstone. Block, redstone. Block, redstone. Block, redstone, need to go. Oh, we can do that from here. Block, redstone. Oh, thank you, I wanted to fall. Ah, there goes my levels. I don't think I had too many left, to be honest, but still. Let's grab some more ender pearls. And three, two, one, go! Come on. Perfect. And the back up the scaffolding. And one, two. Okay. So that side's done. Now we need. You make me happy. Uh, thank you for the follow. So very happy. Lodger boy, happy to have you. Okay, so we did end up adding more to that. I didn't see. We're going to continue with this scene here. Okay. So we need redstone blocks against a piston that is here. Is it really there? No, it's out by one. It's going to make it a bit annoying. Let's place them here. And then we'll go down and place pistons. What I get for trying to do things in a better order, I guess. So once we get the redstone blocks placed here, we'll have to move the scaffolding out by one to place the pistons. Okay. Scaffolding can now go here. Should be able to place the pistons from here. So this one, this one, and this one. Oh, no, you can't go there. Two more to go. Oh, here and here. Okay. So that got everything activated in the order it was supposed to be. And now we're going to pause the music for a second and so check out what he's doing next. We have to send the blocks back somehow. That's why we add an observer we have to take this piston right here and just send it from yeah, normal block okay so it's just an observer another piston and a normal block is that a normal piston or another sticky piston though i want to know you got a zero tick pulse with that piston since this one is also zero ticked it's a normal piston. So we actually need to go back and craft some normal pistons. Ah, okay, let's go. And land. Please. I just want to go home. This is pretty far from home, but we'll take it. Let's turn that off, because this shouldn't be overflowing. Yep. I really need to set that to like automatically turn itself off if it's full, but I can't find a place to set that up. Because I need to be able to read from one face of the chest with an observer. There's not really a place to do that from. So I'm just going to have to move the output, I think. Let's put these in here. We're going to need some more iron. So let's do that. Uh, no, I need more than that. Okay, uh, crafting table. Okay, and we should have what we need for pistons, minus the planks. Where did I put my planks? Did I throw a stack of planks away? I must have. Okay, so we're going to take that. 
pistons. 20 pistons should work, but just in case. Make some more. Yeah, you can't turn pistons into planks. Off. Pistons, please. What am I short on? Redstone. Here we go. Eight. What am I short on? Cobblestone. Let's go back over this way. Should be a ton of cobblestone in this chest here. Now we can go over to this crafting table. Perfect. And we have 42. Go. That was the worst ender pearl throw I've ever thrown. But it'll work. So there and there. Okay. And now we need to go in and place observers here, pistons here. Get the pistons in first. Okay. And we'll need a row going here. And we should be able to place the pistons or the observers from here along with the block. There. 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 There, there, there. See, this is going nice and easy. That that's kind of invisible. Perfect. Along with the one I was standing on, apparently. Perfect. Now we can come up here, grab our observers and blocks. Got it. Perfect. So now we can do the same on this side. So we've got one scaffolding tower. Oh, geez, I don't even remember. So we did one here. No. One here. And one here. There we go. So you just gotta work the logic out again. There, there. Oh, I missed one. Here. Clicked a little too early there. That's extra. Now we can go down, place our blocks and observers. Perfect. I'm getting better today, but I'm generally pretty bad. So I really hope that's sarcastic. Okay. Let's do that. Let's see what the next step is. We have to send the blocks back somehow. And that's why we add an observer. We have to take this piston right here and just send some. Yeah. You make me happy, follow. Who so is this follower? Thank you for the follow variable, Sumo. Venerable Sumo, not yeah, variable. Once more. You can see here, the block is sent back. And this is great, because here the end stop block is also extended. Ah, the, the, the piston that grabs the end stop block is extended. And if I remove this redstone block again, so basically this piston grabs it again. We also get the end stone block into the position again, and then just have to grab with this one here. So that's the whole setup, really. Now we can also add that concrete block again, or whatever solid block you use. Okay, so I built this up also for the second layer on this side, and we just need to do the same for the other side. So just mirror everything over there. Maybe I'll quickly build it again for this side. So add servers right here. Okay, so we did show how to do it on the other side, but it's basically the same thing. The fruits are collected. Those fruits would land in the gaps in between, so you need to add a whole lot of extra blocks just to make sure the fruits are collected. 
Okay, now we can continue with our water stream system at the bottom right here. So we also need to add some ice blocks like this. And now we could fill in all those gaps because obviously if you just would keep it like this, then a lot of those roots would land in the gaps in between. So we need to add a whole lot of extra blocks just to make sure the roots are collected. So now also let's put blocks around the water stream. Like this. And here we just use normal blocks. So this would be the wall. Um, you would stand on top of the dropper and then we just make this little wall. We could place the closed root through there. Then we also need to expand the wall. I'm just gonna use glass for now um, to finish it. Now let's add the water. Let's go up to here. Here we can just add a slab and add a second water stream coming from here. And this would go to into your storage system. Okay, now let's fill in the gaps behind it, the pistons. So here we need to fill everything up. those endstone blocks and here in the back. Those cross flowers always need um, yeah, one air block to the side. It's basically the star shape. It's the minimum requirement. Also fill in the gaps between pistons like this. And then I also f uh, did fill up those gaps on top of all of those blocks and also on this piston arm. Like this. Let's also do it on the other side. Okay. Kind of makes sense. Let's see. My piston arm is currently not extended. He did something there. Which would power normal piston. Yeah, his and all ended up extended. Then add an also for the second layer on this side. Hmm. And we Let's see, can I can I do there? So with his this is extended and that I would have to swap all of this. Wonder if there's an easy way to do that. So if I just move this here, that does that, which is not what we want. Hmm. That kind of does it, but now I still have to move both. I would honestly have to move all of these blocks and all of those redstone blocks to this state. Okay, I guess that's what we're doing then. But we can't actually, like, change. Or we can't place all of the, um... We can't fill in the extra spaces because some of the extra spaces are placed around... Oh, I'd like this, please. Are placed around where the other things are set. Okay, so now back up here. Got it. Now we can actually find these out too. Okay. Perfect. And now we're going to mine these. And we need to go up here and do the same thing. So redstone block, redstone block, 
Redstone block, redstone block, redstone block. We're going to go all the way to the top, and then we're going to go down and do the same thing in stone. If I could actually do it. Please, place blocks. Okay. Perfect. Okay, and now we got to do the same thing here. So, these. And can I have a pickaxe, please? I'm not to the top yet. Here we go. Almost did not make it under that redstone block. Ah, I'd be very frustrated with myself if I did not make a one block jump. Okay, so back up here. We gotta do that. That. No. What? That's wrong. It's very wrong. Hmm. I think I've built something wrong here. That is supposed to be here. Ah, that's got me really frustrated now. Because that means this whole thing is built wrong. Okay. On that note, I'm going to have to call it here because that means i got to rebuild all of this. I will see you guys tomorrow for what might be more Cape Craft. Have a nice night, and I'll see you then.